The MV3 Hystrix is a multi-mission remote-controlled robotic system developed by DOKING, a Croatian company. This system is designed to support counterterrorism, hostage release operations, and social unrest crisis missions. The system is intended for use by special, intervention, anti-explosion, and anti-terrorist police and military units around the world. It provides full situational awareness, transport, and equipment delivery capabilities. The MV3 Hystrix can be configured for various missions and has mission-oriented tools. The system can be easily transported by different means, including air, water, and land. The MV3 Hystrix is a significant innovation in the field of counterterrorism operations. The Sikorsky Raider X is a concept for a fast, agile, and survivable compound coaxial helicopter. It was designed by Sikorsky Aircraft, a division of Lockheed Martin, for the United States Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft FARA program. The Raider X was designed to be much faster than conventional helicopters, with a cruise speed of over 250 miles per hour. The Raider X was also planned to be equipped with a variety of advanced weapons systems, including missiles, rockets, and a cannon. The design of the Raider X draws on Lockheed Martin's broad expertise in developing innovative systems using the latest digital design and manufacturing techniques. The Raider X is equipped with the X2 rigid rotor, which provides increased performance such as highly responsive maneuverability, enhanced low-speed hover, off-axis hover, and level acceleration and braking. The Rain Metal Mission Master SP is a member of the Mission Master family of unmanned ground vehicles UGVs. Unlike tanks or other manned military vehicles, UGVs are controlled remotely or operate autonomously. The Mission Master family is specifically designed to assist soldiers in dangerous situations, difficult terrain, and harsh weather. It excels in missions requiring stealth and agility, thanks to its electric motor that produces minimal noise. This makes it perfect for silent observation or for following troops closely without giving away their position. The Mission Master SP can also carry light supplies or even be equipped with weapon systems for added support. The Convair Model 49 was a truly unique and strange-looking aircraft design that never made it past the concept stage. It was a contender for the U.S. Army's Advanced Aerial Fire Support System AAFFS program in the 1960s. The Model 49 was a combination of a plane and a helicopter with a barrel-shaped fuselage, a shrouded rotor system, and a tilting cockpit. It was designed to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, but then fly forward like a conventional airplane. It was designed to carry a variety of weapons, including machine guns, grenade launchers, rockets, and even a 106mm cannon. The weapons were all to be remotely controlled by the crew, which consisted of a pilot and a weapons officer. The HESCO RAID, standing for Rapid in Theater Deployment, is a revolutionary system designed for rapid deployment and instant protection. It significantly reduces the logistical burden of protecting expeditionary operations. The RAID system was developed to deploy over a 1,000 feet of MIL-7 in under 60 seconds, providing cover from view screen and subsequent blast and ballistic protection. The RAID system has a specially designed release mechanism that allows pre-joined standard or recoverable MIL units to be quickly deployed. It can curve and easily form corners and defensive barriers, allowing for complete perimeter protection. HESCO RAID is a valuable tool for military and security forces who need to quickly establish secure perimeters in hostile environments.
The Patria Nemo is a single-barreled 120mm remote-controlled mortar turret developed by Patria Land Oi in Finland. It is designed to be a lighter and more flexible option than the Amos mortar system. The Nemo can be mounted on a variety of platforms, including armored personnel carriers, APCs, landing craft, and even standardized shipping containers. The Nemo is a weapon system that provides indirect fire support. It can also be used for direct fire in self-defense situations. The mortar is capable of firing multiple rounds simultaneously MRSI, which can be devastating to enemy troops and fortifications. The turret and armored chassis protect the crew from ballistic threats, mines, and improvised explosive devices IEDs. The Xaver LR-80, also known as XLR-80, is a state-of-the-art system developed by Camaro. It is designed to detect live objects through walls from a distance of more than 100 meters. This system is optimized for both urban and rural operations, providing mission-critical, real-time information about live objects hidden beyond walls while maintaining a safe distance. The XLR-80 is equipped with a unique ultra-wideband UWB sensor that operates at a very wide bandwidth. It uses patented algorithms to provide real-time information to the user. It is controlled by a 10-inch tough pad with a simple user interface for intuitive interpretation. The system is portable and can be operated by a single user. The Roadrunner M is a high-explosive interceptor variant of the Roadrunner, a reusable, vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, operator-supervised autonomous air vehicle, AAV, developed by Endural Industries. The Roadrunner M is designed for ground-based air defense and can rapidly launch, identify, intercept, and destroy a wide variety of aerial threats, including large aircraft. It can also be safely recovered and reused at near zero cost. This makes it a cost-effective option for countries looking to defend themselves against drone attacks and other aerial threats. The Roadrunner M is equipped with twin turbojet engines and a modular payload bay that can be outfitted with a variety of sensors and weapons. This allows it to be used for a variety of missions. The Hunter 2S is a tactical swarming drone developed by Alcone, a subsidiary of the United Arab Emirates Edge Group. It is part of the Hunter 2 series of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. These drones are designed to work together in a swarm, sharing information with each other to track and engage targets. The Hunter 2S is a tube-launched drone system, meaning that the drones are launched from a launcher tube. The launcher can hold up to 21 Hunter 2S drones, which can be launched all at once within 60 seconds. The drones are powered by electric motors and have a cruising speed of 80 km per hour 50 miles per hour with a range of up to 30 km 18.6 miles. They can be used for a variety of missions, including surveillance, reconnaissance, and attacks. The Malloy Aeronautics T-400 is finding its place in military applications as a tactical resupply vehicle TRV. This autonomous, electric cargo drone boasts a 400-pound payload capacity, perfect for delivering essential supplies to troops on the ground. Food, water, medicine, ammunition, and even small equipment can be transported by the T-400, regardless of weather conditions. Its autonomous operation with Sense and Avoid and Autoland systems minimizes risk to human operators. While the range with a full payload is limited to about 12 miles, the T-400 can travel much farther over 43 miles when unladen. This allows for flexible deployment and resupply operations behind enemy lines or in dangerous areas.
The Castinger Brass Catcher is an accessory designed to collect spent casings from rifles during training exercises. It was developed in response to the French Army's need to reduce environmental pollution caused by littering casings on the ground. The Castinger Brass Catcher is made from aluminum and flame retardant Kevlar and attaches to a Picatinny rail on the side of the rifle. It has two positions, a high position to catch ejected casings and a low position for accessing the chamber. The low position allows soldiers to quickly clear jams or check the chamber in low light conditions. The catcher bag holds up to 30 casings and has a zipper for easy emptying. It is designed to be ambidextrous and not to interfere with the handling of the weapon during shooting. The Baobab K is an automated mine laying system developed by the Polish defense company Huda Stoloa Walla HSW and its partners. This system is designed to create scattered anti-tank barrier minefields of various sizes, densities, and self-destruction times. The Baobab K system is mounted on a Jelx 8x8 truck chassis, which features high mobility and payload capabilities. The fully automated minefield laying process of the system allows it to quickly switch between transport and combat modes. The vehicle can be equipped with six launchers mine throwers, which can carry MN-123 and MN-123.2 programmable anti-tank mines manufactured by Belma. The system can be equipped with 881mm smoke grenade launchers. The Sosna ADMS Air Defense Missile System is a short-range air defense system designed to protect military forces from air attacks, including airplanes, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, cruise missiles, and even light-armored vehicles on the ground. The Sosna ADMS is mounted on a track vehicle, typically the MTLB or BMP-3 chassis, and is armed with 12 laser-guided missiles. The system has a maximum range of 10 kilometers and a maximum altitude of 5 kilometers. The Sosna ADMS can be operated by a crew of just two people and can be reloaded in under 12 minutes. The Sosna ADMS is known for its high survivability, stealth of operation, and large ammunition load. The Galvian Warfighter Lab is a one-of-a-kind, fully immersive testing and evaluation center built by Galvian at their U.S. headquarters in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It's a state-of-the-art facility designed to simulate battlefield scenarios in a controlled environment. The purpose of the Warfighter Lab is to quantitatively measure the effects of cognitive and physical loads on soldiers. This allows Galvian to develop and improve integrated power and data management solutions that enhance warfighter performance, survivability, and lethality. The lab uses virtual reality VR to create realistic and challenging simulations. Soldiers can be tested in a variety of situations, such as urban combat, jungle warfare, and desert operations. The lab can also be used to test the effectiveness of new equipment and technologies. The Skynex truck is not a commercial vehicle, but rather a military truck designed for air defense purposes. It is a product of the German company Rainmetal. The Skynex system is based on a 6x6 truck chassis with a crew cabin at the front and a weapon station mounted at the rear. The weapon station is typically armed with a 35mm revolver cannon, which is capable of firing up to 1,000 rounds per minute. The Skynex system also includes a radar and a fire control system, which allows it to track and engage targets automatically. The Skynex truck is a highly mobile air defense system that is designed to counter a variety of threats, including drones, cruise missiles, and helicopters. <laughs> 